Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Here's the air I breathe. You are the air I breathe. Your holy presence. It's my daily bread. This is my daily bread. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. Your very word. Your very word. Spoken to me. And I desperate and we are not ashamed of being desperate it's a matter of life and death we need you Lord hallelujah I need thee oh I need thee Come bless me now, my 
my Savior, I come to Thee. Can you sing it with revelation? I need Thee, oh, I need Thee. Every hour, I need Thee. Come bless me now, my Savior. help me take it. my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood just sing it unto him Lord we're not pretending this song on Christ the solid rock of achievement, grounds of anointing, grounds of ministry, grounds of fame. This is my desire to that I adore.
Anywhere you lead me, I will go. I will go. I will go. Confession of truth, wherever you lead me, yeah. I hail you, Most High. I hail. the voices.
of your word and I will forever sing your praise listen to me I'm ministering to you his spirit opens to me the treasures of your word I will forever sing your praise and I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of revelation. Your spirit. The treasures of your word. That's why, your Lord. Sing, I will sing. I will sing. Of the wonders of your word. I will sing. How for joy. I will sing of the wonders and I will forever sing your praise. That's my desire, Lord. And I will forever sing your praise. And I will Forever sing your praise, and I will forever sing your praise. I will and I will forever. Bless him. There is something happening in this atmosphere.
Just bless him. Let him do what he wants to do. Shakina of his presence. It fills this place. The smoke. Fire. I hear the sound of thunder in my spirit. The lightning and thunder that characterizes majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty, your majesty. for me the angel that stands before me I saw him three years ago and he told me his name is Zion's help and I have not seen him in the last three years tonight I see this angel stand before me the helper of Zion And a vision is open before my eyes. I see a lampstand, a golden lampstand. It's the kind of vision that Zechariah saw. The spirits of the prophets of old walk in this room. I sense that the prophet Jeremiah walks in this room. I sense it by the intuition of the Spirit. I sense that Paul the Apostle walks in this room. And the beloved of the Most High, John, walks in this room. I'm about to chant prophetically. I don't do this many times. I do it when a heavy unction is upon me. Just clash the cymbals.
I am the Lord most high. And I stand in the midst of you tonight, say the Spirit of the Lord. For I am the Lord most high. The captain of the armies of the Lord. The captain of the armies of the Lord. captain of the armies of the Lord I hear the sound of chariots chariots as of war chariots mighty chariots in the spirit mighty chariots and now I see them chariots of fire running as it were as a matter of urgency the northern army of the most high chariots of fire Come on, press. This is Koinonia tonight. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. For you shall see the heavens open. And you shall see the angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Feel the rain of your love. Feel 
the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear Majesty, 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 El, Elion, Baruch Haba, Hashem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, El Gibor, El Elion, The multi-breasted one. Yes, Lord, we thank you. For you will make us all that you desire for us to be. We expose ourselves to the fullness of your glory. Behold, I give you a new name, say the Spirit of God. I give you a new name. Just soak for a minute or two in the 
Even if you don't have anything to say, your stillness in the glory will not leave you the same. For his glory fills this place. Yes, I know his glory fills this place. And your eyes will see him. Hallelujah. Lord, you are in our midst and we thank you. We are not worshipping one who is afar. One of the blessings of Koinonia is that you know that God is real. that you draw nigh and see the reality of this person that we worship. Something will always be activated in your spirit when you draw nigh to his presence. Tonight, this auditorium is full of heaven. something about the presence of God. Listen. Nothing can replace the presence of God. Not eloquence. Not the head knowledge of scripture. There is nothing that can Replace the intimacy of the Holy Spirit. Oh, there is such a river in this place tonight. Such a river. You'll never be the same. You may not know what the presence of God does to a man. presence soaks and every fiber of your cell receives of that glorious presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we declare that we are the people who are serious with you. We mean business every time we show up. not interested in just having a form of godliness but that we want to be so close to you so close the Bible says an Enoch walked with God oh that you will know the passion in my heart for you to walk with the Holy Spirit 
that you will be a testament of what his presence can do. If you will quit chasing healing and power and anointing, you will find it all in his presence. You will find it in his presence. The Bible says, blessed are they that hunger and thirst. It didn't say, blessed are they that eat. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst. For they shall be filled. Holy Spirit, I love you with the whole of my heart. You anointed me to reveal you to the world. How can one reveal such an awesome person? Paracletos, the standby, the advocate, the strengthener, the comforter, the one who makes men wonders, the governor of my father's kingdom. Who but you is able to do wonders? You're the eternal spirit of the living God. When the heavens and the earth were being created, you were there. The one who turned the word into flesh and planted him in the womb of a virgin. The one who anointed the apostles and the prophets of old. The one who walks with koinonia. The secret of the grace. The secret of the impact the secret the one the Bible calls the blessing Holy Spirit beyond tongues beyond gifts that you will reveal yourself to your people this platform is supposed to draw men and women into a depth of intimacy if we do not know you what message do we have to the world Lord we don't want to join many people just making noise we do not want to talk about a God we do not know that he will help us know the word that he will help us know Jesus for when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you in all truth. He will teach you. All scripture was inspired by him. He is the Holy Ghost. The blessed third person of the Trinity who reveals Jesus to the church. And it is in partnership with him that the bride can say come it's only the spirit and the bride that tells the word to come for your awesome presence we thank you sickness cannot stand in his presence demonic oppression cannot stand Everything that does not look like heaven cannot stand. This is the secret of freedom and you shall intercourse with the truth. And the product of that intercourse is freedom. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am nothing without you. I know this, absolutely nothing without you. Koinonia is nothing without you. Iena is nothing without you. Our gifts are only empty gongs without you. Our knowledge of scripture is vain without your breath. You are the only one who can cause true transformation in the hearts of men. Tonight we are yielding to you. 
and we're walking in your love. Blessed Holy Spirit, you're not a wind, you're not a bird, you're not fire, you're not a candlestick. You are God. You are a real person that seeks to be known. Oh Lord, that you cause our eyes to see you and know you. That the product of our intimacy with you will cause us to shake the world. Thank you. In just one minute, I'd like you to just say, Holy Spirit, my heart is open. Just pray a prayer in one minute. You must be an unbeliever to be in this kind of presence and not be open to the Spirit. He's seeking a generation of men with whom he can use. You don't need to be qualified. You just need to be available. What we have done tonight is so vital to our spiritual growth. This is the rest and the refreshing. This is what prayer is. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. God desires men and women who will be vessels that will carry his glory. Thank you. It's not looking for preachers. There are enough preachers in Zaria. There are enough preachers Nigeria, apostles, prophets. Teachers. There are many people who want to walk for God, but very few people want to walk with Him. God is seeking men who will walk with him and know him. Can I tell you something? If you will pay the price to know him, he will make your life an awesome wonder. I cannot tell you this enough. He's not lying. If you will pay the price to take him seriously, If you stop chasing after many things and seek him, you will find everything you need. Please be seated. God bless you. Well, thank you, Lord, for your presence. If you don't have his presence, listen to me. Sorry for those of you standing. Hallelujah. You can sit anywhere you want to sit, please. If you want to sit on stage and you think you're comfortable and you will not be ashamed, come on. Hallelujah. There are a few chairs here. I don't know if we can help the people. Just keep it anywhere, all right? We are excellent people, but not foolish people. When the presence of God is there, let people just sit. If you want to sit on the floor, remove your shoes. Keep it on the floor and sit down. Take the seat and give them, you know. If you cannot sit on the floor, that's where we were before we came here. There's carpet in the auditorium. Don't break the stools, please. Make sure you don't break the stools. See his glory 
I see his glory. I see his glory come down. Hallelujah. I believe that there are four things that the Holy Spirit is emphasizing to the body of Christ. Please let me have your attention. I believe that there are four things that the Spirit of God there are chairs here. Please come sit down. Just sit anywhere. Sit here. The choir people are standing. So some of you come and sit if you want to. Make yourself comfortable. Don't feel afraid. Don't feel intimidated. We need to get the word into you. Just sit anywhere. Scatter yourselves around. Be very comfortable. Don't feel intimidated at all. We are not so organized as to organize God out of our meeting. Hallelujah. I believe that every true ministry that listens to the voice of the Holy Spirit should be emphasizing four things. Number one, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There is a need for the revelation of the person of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ. The Spirit-filled life. The Spirit-led life. Hallelujah. This is one of the major emphasis of the Holy Spirit in this season. The Spirit-filled life. That's why we teach on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We teach on yielding to the Spirit. Because the Bible says it is they that are led by the Spirit. They are the sons of God. Hallelujah. So the spirit-filled life. The revelation of the Holy Spirit is the greatest secret we will need for the journey ahead. That's why we teach you about staying filled. We teach about tongues and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Yielding to the anointing. Yielding to the Spirit. We teach you on discernment. Flowing in the gift of the Spirit. That aspect, that dimension of teaching must be emphasized in the body. Number two is the kingdom life. As a second emphasis, I believe that the Holy Spirit is bringing to the body the kingdom life. That you understand the structure and the build up of the kingdom. You understand the nature and the character of the king. You understand the power of the kingdom. He said, for thine is the kingdom. The power of that kingdom and the glory of that kingdom. So we need an emphasis of the teaching of the kingdom. We need to know the principles. Please, if you are writing, write this. This is so important. The principles of the kingdom. There is no hope for any Christian in the days to come who does not understand the principles of the kingdom. I assure you, there is no hope. You can be born again, but you will receive a root shock. Number three. Leadership leadership this is an emphasis that the body of Christ must receive the principles of leadership do you realize that the fivefold ministry was first an administrative leadership position even before individual ministries the church of Christ needs leaders we need leaders we have men of God we have very few leaders we need leaders. The job of leaders is to lead God's people. Hallelujah. The difference between a leader and a boss is this. A boss tells you go and do it. But a leader creates patterns with his life. The word leader comes from the word lead. Hallelujah. 
we need leaders in the body of Christ not noisemakers leaders men who understand the principles of kingdom leadership the ability to guide the body and help them harness their potentials and prepare them as the army of God this will take an understanding of leadership there are very few people there are very few teachings in the body of Christ on leadership that's why we have a lawless body because there are no leaders listen can I tell you something the first leader in the Bible failed and that's what is costing the world trouble today the first leader was Adam God gave him Eve and the garden to take care of failure in leadership can cost a generation are you listening to me Nigeria is suffering today not because there are no mineral resources is failure in leadership every time a system fails God attacks the leaders that's why the Bible says strike the shepherd Satan does not need to strike the sheep strike the shepherd and the sheep the word shepherd is the word pastor strike the leaders if you have blind and insensitive leaders what do you expect a blind and insensitive congregation hallelujah if you have carnal and self-driven leaders listen the, the 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 issue of leadership is very important because the anointing that flows from the people oftentimes comes as an overflow of that which god gives the leaders and can i tell you something the spirit of a leader can be corrupt you can receive an anointing for healing from a leader at the same time receive the spirit of lust that's why a leader transfers the overflow of what he has are you listening to me this is the reason why leaders will be judged very strictly by God because you you cannot transfer a wrong spirit to God's people hallelujah the church of Christ is confused today because of the teachings they have received from all kinds of people sometimes people send text messages to me and say sir a man of God said this and when when of course I understand everybody has areas we are still pressing towards perfection but there are certain teachings that have misled the body one sermon can lead a whole congregation into error one sermon you know why because a leader stands as a mentor as a model as a pattern so people want to become like who they see and then many people do not understand the burden of leadership we only know the glory of leadership that you must there are some things in your life that may not matter but are not necessary because you are a leader hallelujah we need kingdom leaders in the body we have many pastors we have many people we don't need more people raising crutches we have many but what we need is patterns number four the fourth emphasis of the Holy Spirit that I believe that God is communicating is on the issue of financial prosperity hallelujah it's very very important without money you cannot finance the gospel without money souls will be saved souls will not be saved without money people will die hungry hallelujah one of the greatest successes of satan before now is to mislead the body to trivialize the importance of finances zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 hey, i'm not teaching on finances i'm just showing you the four emphasis to the point that every time a sermon is raised over finances we close ourselves with some religious feeling as though we are just heaven and all of that but anything that is not taught the body will not have faith for it and if they do not have faith for it they will not get it listen to me I am concerned about the finances of people 
because I have passion for it. I am very concerned about the hundreds of graduates that will be getting out of ABU in the next few weeks. Many of you are already afraid. You don't even know what else to do with your life. Hallelujah. I heard of someone who changed his result to go for NYC two times so that he can get the allowance. You may laugh about it now. It looks silly. Hallelujah. There are more ladies going into prostitution every day. Tongue-talking ladies. Some of them were leaders in their fellowships. There are more armed robbers every day ravaging our cities, killing people, maiming people. There are more jobless people every day. The record is increasing. There is desperate need. It has slowed down the advancement of the kingdom of God. Preachers have become beggars on stage. Every message now is money, 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 money. You know why? Because there is no money. Everything in the church has become money. There's no time to build the body again. Because the truth is there are needs. Are you listening to me? There are needs. The men of God want to take care of their wives and their children. You want to be blessed. You want to get to a point one day where you can drive a car. And then not have rain. And can I tell you something? No matter how you pretend not to care about it, a day will come you will care about it. Are you listening to me? One of the greatest deceits of Satan is to make the church trivialize this. This is the fourth emphasis of the Holy Spirit. If we continue embracing poverty, we will run into trouble. There is going to be big disaster that is coming. I assure you, I assure you, I know more people who have lost their salvation as a result of poverty than as a result of Satan. I know more ladies who have slept with managers and directors. Go to a shrine and ask the native doctor what is the highest need that they are meeting him for. Money. We trivialize it. We talk as if it's not an issue. But then we run into trouble. Our parents have become slaves to all kinds of prophets today. They come to our house. Your house. Make your father to sit down like a fool with all the knowledge he has had. Just because they want, we want money. This is August and the federal government has not released allocation. And our parents are crying and it's affecting you. The guy you said no to in January, you are considering saying yes to him tomorrow. Because of your project more harm will be done to the body of Christ if we do not embrace the blessings of the Lord and see the need for it. You're seated here tonight by the grace of God. You're getting blessed by the keyboard, the projector. There's nothing here that is free except the venue. So it is very important that you align with this emphasis of the Spirit. Do not ever let Satan deceive you and say you are young or say I'm spiritual. My own is just heaven. You will run into more trouble than you can imagine. Prosperity gives you focus. Are you listening to me? When you are prosperous, you can focus. There are many of us, our prayer request is just money, 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 money. You go to pray for six hours and come in as if you were praying for the nations. You were crying for money. Hallelujah. There is nothing that discourages the faith of believers like money issues. Even healing does not discourage people like that. Do you know Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church? Because if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. But when you are blessed, you are blessed for others. Hallelujah. 
So this is the fourth emphasis of the Holy Spirit. And it's important, very important, that we give it careful ear. The Bible says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. These four go hand in hand. Listen, whenever one is emphasized above another, there will be trouble. Are you listening to me? When you emphasize the Holy Spirit and anointing and power above the principles and the character of the kingdom, above leadership, above the ministry of the blessings of God, there will be trouble at a point. Because when everybody is hungry to lay hands on everybody in your congregation, you will need to rewrite the book of 1 Corinthians. This was the catastrophe that made Paul to write 1 Corinthians. Everybody was flowing in the gift of the Spirit, throwing everybody on the floor. And Paul said, hold on, we need to explain this. And it took chapters 12, 13, 14 to explain the order and the operation of the Spirit. If you teach everybody on character, the kingdom, character and the kingdom, now people know how to go and greet those who are mourning, to greet those who have problems. But you're not going to have a supernatural generation and that's a big problem because Satan will soon sit in front of your congregation and help you run your service. And then without leadership, there will never be a means of training and raising people. Moses was an uncommon leader. Hallelujah. And then without prosperity, one day you come for koinonia and you just see everybody standing outside and you say, what's the problem? They say you are going to stand today. Why? You say, are we not giving offering? <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, I receive all that God has for me. By the time you get to 30 years and you are about to get married and you find out that there's no money, there's no hope of renting a house, your emphasis in the spirit will change. The things that used to matter to you will no longer matter. You'll be surprised that you are sitting down and thinking and saying, Oh Lord, your father is asking you, you say you have been going to church since you were 21. What is the fruit you have to show for it? We are dying here. I'm not praying in tongues. You are praying in tongues, but I'm better than you. Yes, there's no relevance of your going to church. And this is what we do not want in the body. There must be fruit. Are you listening to me? That they are driving your father out of the house and then you step in and tell them there is no problem there is grace and you can salvage your family from misery there are many of our loved ones who have not been able to go to school today some of you are the only ones who were sent by your family members see if you don't have an assignment you don't need prosperity you really don't need it but when there is an assignment you desperately need the provision of God hallelujah thank you jesus tonight very quickly i'll just show you something and we'll pray zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 i had a dream this morning that changed my message i'll not share the dream because of time verse 6 i want to teach us a very big secret that god has shown me in my life and please, I want you to take it seriously. It's a powerful revelation and it's a very, very big secret. It's one of the biggest secrets of ENI. It's one of the biggest secrets of Koinonia. It's one of the biggest secrets of my life. And I'm happy that I'm having to teach it now. See, please look up, especially for those who are preachers, who have churches and fellowships here. Can I tell you something? Every time you begin to don't just teach your members anything you want to teach. There is a pattern that you raise people such that they become strong. Are, are you listening to me? If you carry your trouser and try to put it like shirt, are you dressing well? But is trouser required for good dressing? Are you listening to me? So it's not enough to have rema and have revelation. You must understand the order of that structure. The Bible says, ensure, speaking to Moses, that the house is built according to pattern. So it's not enough. There are certain teachings that are dangerous for believers until you have established them in certain truth. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, laying aside this 
basic doctrines of the laying on of hands and of baptisms and all of these things when you are building a people you must build them when you were in primary school they built you gradually is that correct when you are spelling they put h dash s and then they say fill in the blank that was a way of building you when you were doing mathematics when you say one minus two they write equal to then they create a big box for you and you write it cannot and you took first they gave you price when you come to from one or from two if they ask you one minus two and you say it cannot you are going to get zero because they will teach you a new topic called what number line I follow me now this is how it is in the spirit so we have lopsided growths in the body a believer who just got born again you are teaching him something he cannot even connect with are you following me now he cannot relate with what you are teaching him and so you see the man of god struggling but the people are not growing hallelujah then you get to a point where the people who are supposed to be walking are big children who are still crawling hallelujah paul was surprised when at a certain time the church ought to have been matured but they were still babes in the things of god and so there is need for constructive building hallelujah it's dangerous to teach people for instance on prosperity until you've taught them on purpose are you listening to me if you have not taught people on purpose and their assignment teaching people on wealth and prosperity will destroy them because the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them and that's what we have going on in the body if you teach people on the miraculous without teaching them on salvation and the priorities of god and the eternal counsel of god where is the church going to you will produce a bunch of hungry people who are looking for anybody to lay hands on have you seen all those kind of childish people around everybody just has anointing and calls you and says now i'm going to speak and the power of god will move and then you see somebody moving and I say i'll touch the person with one finger those people have been taught wrongly when they teach you that the purpose of the anointing is not just for show are you listening to me then you are being built according to pattern when you teach somebody on relationship and marriage without teaching the person on purpose that's a disaster now the person is going out with the lady one day you will turn and look at her and say what are we even doing confusion sets in because without vision the people perish are you listening to me you want to have a child without understanding the purpose of fatherhood the purpose of parenting see the body of christ there are courses that you study in the university you call it something 101 is that correct you study that's not all to it but that's all you need to know at that point you will meet it again maybe two or three hundred level as a continuation because it's expected that before that time you would have built on certain knowledge when you meet it you will now appreciate it are you listening to me no matter how brilliant a student is he cannot write project in hundred level even if he gets five points are you listening to me that's what happens in the body you just see somebody who got bored again two weeks now you make the person a pastor and he gets up he doesn't even know what ministry is about the person just gets up and his dream is just to get suits and he starts calling forth suits from every member and doing all kinds of things there is need for constructive building hallelujah so that we can understand what the spirit is doing i tell you something the building that is going on in this place is not haphazard topic after topic building after building sometimes you see us shift emphasis on character sometimes we shift emphasis on the anointing sometimes we shift emphasis on the kingdom sometimes we shift emphasis on the blessings of the lord prosperity and all of this we take a series on it sometimes you keep seeing us shift emphasis this is to be able to build believers so that you don't have a believer with a big head and a small body or a big hand to collect money and lack of discernment we need a the bible says the fivefold ministry was given 
not just to raise members that what the body will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ hallelujah are you listening to me so very quickly I'll talk on something tonight I don't know what the topic will be let's call it grace grace Zechariah chapter 4 I want to teach you on the dimension of God called the grace of God it's not really a teaching it's an exhortation just to touch your heart verse 6 and he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel saying let's read together not by nor but by my spirit saith the Lord look up not by what nor by hallelujah not by might not by power but by my spirit I think this congregation is matured enough to now receive the teachings of grace the trouble with the grace message that I've always had is that you do not teach the believers the place of kingdom responsibility when you teach people the message of grace without understanding kingdom responsibility you are going to produce a lazy church because grace will look like a license for everything are you listening to me but when you teach people and bring them to the place of responsibility then the message of grace becomes useful can i tell you something there is a factor in the life of every believer called grace grace means unmerited access uncommon favor write it unmerited access uncommon favor access that you do not deserve result beyond your ability beyond your prayer life beyond your fasting life beyond your knowledge of the word there is a provision in the structure of the kingdom for a believer to step into more than he can do it's called the grace of god he said not by power not by might but by my spirit it says who are thou mountain verse 7 oh great mountain see look at me there are two ways in scripture that mountains can be moved one is by faith hallelujah if thou shalt say the operation of the word of god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou what removed and cast into the sea but here god is showing us another key in the spirit that equally moves mountain he said who art thou mountain before zerubbabel he said before zerubbabel thou shall be made plain hmm. he said and he shall bring forth the headstone in it with shoutings of what grace grace you get to a point in your life brothers and sisters where you will know that you need an extra factor beyond all that you know how to do you know that there are certain realms if you are to step into in the spirit it's going to be beyond your prayer life beyond your word life are you listening to me beyond you that's where the grace of god comes in hallelujah and when you understand that there is this provision in the body then it makes you appreciate god and it comforts you are you listening to me when he was talking to the church in revelation he said i know that you have little strength he said i know i am aware that your strength is small i am aware that you are trying to make sure that you walk in the reality of the righteousness of god are you listening to me isn't it comforting to know that god is aware I am aware that although you are stubborn you are making efforts to change i am aware that you are making efforts to love me there are habits you want to stop god is saying i am aware there is a factor called the grace of god paul speaking in second corinthians can we turn there very quickly second corinthians chapter 15 from verse 9 and 10 2nd Corinthians 
chapter 15. This is what Paul has to say about his ministry. Sorry, 1 Corinthians. That's a second. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Please catch this revelation tonight. Verse 9. I believe this is also my testimony. Are you ready? Verse 9. Let's read. One to read. For I am the least of the apostles. That I am not fit to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of God. Stop. Paul is saying, look, you esteem me and call me a great apostle. Yes, I pray in tongues more than ye all. Yes, I do all of these things. But Paul is saying, can I tell you the truth? There is a factor in my life I will not hide from you. It's called the grace of God. Paul said, if it were by qualification, I am the least of the apostles. You know why? Because when the other apostles were working with Jesus Christ, he was busy. Are you listening to me? There are some of you that where you are today is the grace of God. You got born again two years and you left somebody when you were drinking palm wine. The people who came to preach to you, you are the one who is getting them filled with the Holy Ghost right now. When they were stoning Stephen, Paul was still Saul. He was the one who sat down and they put the clothes. The people were angry, they removed their clothes. So that concept of removing clothes before fighting was in the Bible. It's a spirit. They removed their clothes and Paul said, bring it here. I'll protect it for you. You must kill this guy. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Let's hear what he has to say in verse 10. He said, but... Oh, I thought they were projecting it. But by the grace of God... Are you there? By the unmerited access, by the favor of God, I am what I am. Listen, he said, and his grace which was bestowed on me was not in vain. You see where the maturity of teaching comes in. He said, in that I labored more than ye all. He said, yet, yet, because there are other people that labored more than me, yet. Brothers and sisters, can I tell you something? I have seen more people that I've seen people that pray more than me. I know people who do vigils at least two times in a week. Have you seen ministries like that? I've seen ministries that fast and run marathon fastings for months. I've seen pastors and men of God that go around and beg. They beg God, they cry, they do everything. Sometimes when people send me text messages, I say, what is the secret of the anointing upon your life? Listen, when I saw Jesus Christ, I was not praying. Are you listening to me? I tell you sincerely from my heart, he just appeared to me by grace. Are you listening to me? The anointing that I walk in today, I don't know if I'm to quantify all my prayer life and my word life if it will equate what I'm walking in today. How many of you have seen God do things in your life that at the end of it, after people clap for you, you go back and you want to run away from the result you are receiving because you know that there must be another factor in that equation. Hallelujah. There are many of you who have, you are not faithful in tithing, yet you don't have any financial need whatsoever. It's called the grace of God. Are you listening to me? Other people start reading, you resume half of the semester and you get 4.1. And somebody who had collected the handout before that semester, the lecturer says is their neighbor. They gave him the full course. The grace of God. Are you listening to me? Somebody did malpractice in your presence. You did everything. The person got E, you got A. With all the malpractice. The grace of God. Paul said, I am what I am. Hear me, saints of God, there is a provision in the body to help the journey of a believer. Not to replace your operation of the, of the, of, 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 of the kingdom. Are you listening to me? Grace is not supposed to produce a lazy congregation. So why do I need to pray? Why do I need to fast? Why do I need to stay with God's word when I can tap into a provision called grace? 
If I can sit down without preparing a sermon and God will step in. Are you listening to me? If I can do anything and come out guiltless, why do I need the grace of God? When you understand the grace of God, you would think it's a license to disobey God. That's why Paul said, hold on. As I'm teaching you this grace message, let me balance it. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Because there are many erroneous messages today that stemmed out of the revelation of grace. Can I tell you something, friends? What you see in Koinonia, you know that is the grace of God. Hallelujah. The grace of God. It's not because the things you hear may sometimes not be spectacular. However, it is the grace of God. When you look at the worship team, you see the grace of God. When you look at everything that is happening, you see the grace of God. The unmerited favor. Unmerited access. Paul said, look, I need to tell you people something. I am what I am. By the grace of God. Listen, I know men of God who to get a little result. A little result. They will have to, the kind of result that you see and trivialize in Koinonia here. I know how they have to travel in the spirit and press as if they are going to die and they step into a meeting and if five people fall under the anointing they go back happy it's a reward for 40 days prayer and fasting yet you come and stand on the stage and you just say Lord I bless your name and you see people listen the grace of God there is a factor are you listening to me if you get so walk conscious that you forget that there is a factor that is supposed to push you the grace of god is an exclusive act of his sovereignty are you listening to me an exclusive act of his sovereignty god does it so that no man can boast sometimes when you apply too much principles and you do things it's easy for you to think it is because of what i am doing then god surpasses what you have done and tells you can you account for this one now and you know that this is but the grace of god hallelujah there are many of you before you had certain revelations there are people praying and organizing seminars on hearing god but before you were born again you were already seeing angels your eyes was already being opened to the realm of the spirit hallelujah what spiritual principle is responsible for that the grace of God are you listening to me what I'm sharing right now as trivial as it is there are many congregations that if the minister is talking like this you see people just carrying their Bible and frowning and leaving and the person is discouraged he's saying what I'm saying is it not making sense yet another person comes up and he can sit down and be cracking jokes and as he's cracking jokes hundreds and thousands of people are trooping in and they're laughing how do you explain that brothers and sisters there is a mystery in the spirit there are it's not everything that can be explained one of it is the grace of god the grace of god this has been a revelation god taught me every time i prepare for a meeting when i finish i say lord i don't even know what your standard is for this meeting Talk more of saying I have prepared enough, but I know I beckon. How many of you have been sitting in your room and people came that you need to teach them? You didn't pray, you didn't prepare. That one is grace. And you start talking and you check, and you, you are four hours. You are even jotting the revelations you are bringing. How many of you have been counseling certain people and the depth of insight that comes? You start comparing scriptures to scripture, and at the end of it, you are like, ah. ah even you you are surprised you know you can't repeat what you just did again that's why if you are talking you you just talk as if you are answering a call you quickly put your phone on record because you know it may never come again are you seeing the grace of god at work in your life a lecturer is giving everybody f you just walk to the person's office and he looks at you not because he wants anything in return he just says all right will do something about your result you come out and you will see d or e or upgrade everything or c or something and you just look and you are surprised 
your handwriting is so bad yet no lecturer has ever insulted you for it you still get a somebody writes a very neat nice handwriting and gets one for it and still gets e or, or c the grace of god do you know there is a factor many people don't know that there is this factor in ministry see this is the secret of sweatless ministry sweatless ministry you live your life understanding that no matter how weak you get there is a hand to hold so you don't abuse the grace of god by not performing your responsibility but you know that every time you get to the end of the road there is a hand to hold you when you walk in that consciousness the day you step out and you see somebody that day you were not prepared in quote and then you just step out and there's a bible study in your house and they say uh we have a woman of god abigail she's going to be exhorting us and that's the person announcing to you that you preach now you are contemplating where do i start from and the whole scripture goes blank let me tell you what used to happen to me when i started out in ministry sometimes i would prepare a message very nice message even me i'll admire what i prepare five minutes to the stage the whole thing will go blank i can't even remember one scripture again i said come on lord don't play with me and now they are saying we have in our midst is a rare privilege all the way from Zaria. I don't know if you celebrate the anointing. While they are saying that, you are struggling by yourself. You are saying, Lord, the first scripture I planned that I will give has disappeared. And when you come up, suddenly you don't even know what to do. Then an unction come upon you. Suddenly you begin. Can I tell you something? If you meet me outside Koinonia, I cannot quote half of the scriptures I quote on stage. I assure you i only quote scriptures i can quote chapters of scripture when the grace of god comes on me it's not something i learned i don't know how it works till today the moment i handle this mic suddenly it's like the bible is open up to me that's why someone can be on stage and say there's somebody here you have headaches yeah me me that i've been praying in tongues i'm the cell leader let them know I have headache. Then when the person drops down, you just run and come. That person's faith may be small. You just lay hands on you and you even be angry because you know nothing happened. There is grace and unction. Are you listening to me? Unmerited access. Unmerited access. Doors that are closing for others suddenly open up for you. Oh, we have enjoyed this in ENI. The grace of God. This auditorium that we are using by grace, we have never had to pay one naira. One naira, brothers and sisters. It is the grace of God. I'm giving you all these testimonies to give God praise. Are you listening to me? I shared with you where we went to Lagos and a plot of land was given to us in Lekki. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? Somebody is busy working up all the principles of prosperity he knows. Somebody just gets somebody's prayer request at a platter of gold. A lady is fasting and praying, very pretty lady for a husband. One other lady who has been a prostitute for years just gives her life to Christ and somebody just says, you are the one I will marry no matter what happens. They say, oh God, open your eyes. Are you blind? They say, I know. I will still marry like that. The grace of God. Hallelujah. You go for an interview and you have third class. You are even ashamed. They say, which school did you go to? You say, oh, guy, I went to school. None of your business where I went to. No, ask me useless questions. Yeah, you are not the person giving me the job. All kinds of first class students are making noise. Suddenly, they look at you. And there is something. They say, you, come. Where are you from? Give me your paper. And then, let me tell you something. I began to see the grace of God in my life in a very fearful way. The things that people would do are not excelling. I would come and walk upon it as if it's not an issue. And one day God told me it's the grace of God. Are you listening to me? Unmerited access. I share with you these testimonies. If the ministers will share with you, everybody has fearful testimonies of the grace of God. Many of you were here when CBN came to Zaria to come and run an interview for us. 
I don't know anybody in CBN aside from one of our members from Jack. There are many people passing. We don't even have none of the ministers here has a complimentary card. There are many people they have printed more complimentary cards than those who produce tracks. But nobody has called them for administration. But a man of God will be sitting down quietly and your phone is ringing and people come and say, please, we want you to come and bless us. Do you not see that this is grace? The grace of God. Hallelujah. The grace of God. The favor of God. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Koinonia is what it is today by the grace of Almighty God. There are people who hold programs on campus. They even write it on the poster, there will be free food. Now, I don't say this, of course, you understand my heart. I'm just trying to show you the grace of God. There will be free food, come. Yet at the end of it, after two hours, you just see somebody strolling and say, sorry, is this here they are holding this? Brother? We, are, we are sharing the grace. When the grace of God, when you tap into that dimension, <laughs> one man of God has a ministry, the name is Grace Dimension. Hallelujah. When you tap into this grace, are you listening to me, brothers and sisters? You will get more than you can ever imagine. Young man, off your phone. Listen, look at me. Hello? Please off your phone. Hmm? Or go outside and answer it. Or put it on silent. Hallelujah. The grace of God. I know ministries and churches that have every kind of excellence you can imagine. Hallelujah. And every member they see, they snap the person because they may never see the person again. They have used all kinds of publicity, publicity principle, including forcing you in your house. They come and meet you in your house and say, we are, we are the evangelism unit of this ministry. Please, you are going to come. There is evening fellowship. You must come to our house. Yet you look at another person and yet you see the increase of God. Hallelujah. You look at a man of God on TV who is preaching and you cannot even hear him clearly. You can't hear him clearly. Yet you turn and see the way people are so open to receive. You see the loyalty of people to that grace and you say, is it that this guy went to... The, the, there's, there's a man who speaks in, in TV. Every time, <laughs> every time I watch the man, I almost laugh. It's so funny. Very, very funny. I, I can't even hear what he says sometimes. Yet that guy, you cannot explain what it is. There's one Baba that, that is on air. Honestly speaking, when that guy finishes talking, you just know that, okay, you were in a service and people blessed you. But even you, you will not know what to bring you back. The grace of God. Have you not seen people taking business proposals, well-dressed with their tie, as they are entering, they say, go out, walk out, just don't and you see the person and then you see somebody goes with his jeans and they're even telling him ah but button up now look at your trouser eh, come and then they give him the job how do you explain certain things i'm teaching you this dimension because you need to activate it in your life there is this operation of the spirit called the unmerited access hallelujah i am what i am by the grace of god he said, although this grace was not showered on me in that I labored more than ye all, yet it is not I but the grace of God. If you do not, listen, if you are going to work for every single thing you want to get in this life, get said to die. There is a factor called the dimension of God's grace that comes upon you. Hallelujah. At every time we have a need, a serious need and an urgent need, God will always raise help us by the grace of God. Every time, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. We have never, we have never, we, I, I believe that we have one of the best workforce in this city, in Koinonia. I say it with all humility. 
the diligence of these people you wonder and say okay what are they giving you have you not seen churches that they call they say we even pay you salary we'll pay you there is an operation of god's grace that can work in your life listen i have seen men of god who walk in depths of revelation depths of revelation depths of revelation and yet every time you see these people you never you 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 sometimes you you are just broken and you say lord i give you all the praise the grace of god what his grace can do other people are trying certain things trying again and again and you just step in never take for granted when you see certain ease in your life is grace the day god takes away that grace you will be shocked hallelujah i have never struggled to flow in the spirit sometimes when i hear people with all due respect in tv teaching different ways to flow in the anointing i'm not aware of what they are talking about i really cannot even understand it's very complicated have you not seen many schools of the prophets they gather people who want to be prophets and you see how hard they make it immediately they finish you come and stand here then you try and prophesy what are you seeing you say not yet they say we all activate it somebody comes from the wilderness with no teaching whatsoever suddenly begins to see the names of people on everybody's head how do you explain that are you listening to me have you have you not seen some preachers that didn't go to school they don't have anything never read any concordance yet when you hear them you know that this insight is not from a man it must have been from god hallelujah a man is sitting down and moving you who loves god you are trying and say lord please appear for me and then he doesn't appear to you and one drunkard as he's taking the last beer then he sees jesus he says why are you doing this to me you are saying lord is this fear is this fair i'm shouting there i'm i'm shouting in my room 10 days prayer and fasting now somebody just finished or someone will just finish cain listen we, people are crying about the voice of god cain killed his brother and had the voice of god he just finished killing his brother and he had the voice of god cain he said am i my brother's keeper if you hear the voice of god you say lord i thank you it's such a privilege but Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? In other words, to hell with your voice. <laughs> Hallelujah. The grace of God. Say after me, the grace of God. Jesus. Giving me more that I deserve. The grace of God. When you believe in that and you activate it in your life. Before I got to know many principles on leadership on ministry on finances on all of these things i was stepping into other blessings already when i knew these principles i knew i didn't obey them so i wonder why certain anointings came the grace of god are you listening to me there is that provision for a believer where you activate the grace there are people who don't pray every day they don't do anything yet they never fall sick they don't rebuke any devil for anything they are staying in a in in a room with somebody who is a witch yet the witch never ever thinks of doing anything to the person you are not doing anything you are loved by everybody you look for trouble right now somebody is dressing well they are not looking at the person you you don't dress well and people are rushing to help you fix the dressing well and the person who is dressing well is saying look at me at least grace The grace of God. I am what I am. He said, not by power, not by might. Are you listening to me now? You will get to that point in your life where it is the grace of God that will continue the journey. Are you listening to me? A ministry can sit down and be saying, okay, let's contribute and raise money for land. And somebody is sitting down and members have not even come for the ministry yet somebody will come and give him 10 hectares of land how do you explain that brothers and sisters 
a father and a mother are sitting down quietly in their house and empty and comes to beg them and say we want to put a mast are you listening to me you have read every business book you know how to read someone is sitting and they come to put a mass and they say no we will rent our land and now they begin to rent it three hundred thousand every month for the rest of their lives are you listening to me you just finished school and even before you finish a woman meets you and says uh, I'm going to be commissioner. Come, you'll be my personal assistant. And now you are saying, Ma, I don't know anything. You say, No problem. I'll give you the appointment and they'll train you. I want, I want you to begin to step in this level of grace. I don't like giving my testimonies because I, I always like Jesus Christ alone being glorified. But if I share with you some testimonies, it will humble you. That's why I always like Jesus Christ being exalted. The grace of God. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something? How does this grace come? Although it is a gift, one of the things that the body is not taught is how this grace comes and how it is multiplied do you know that this grace can be multiplied the bible tells us that grace and peace be multiplied unto us he said how through the knowledge hallelujah the coming of this grace happens as god's gift to you but the multiplication of this grace is your reward for knowing god every time you press into god he leaves you with the reward of that grace otherwise your pursuit for God is useless. What will be the difference between you and somebody who is not seeking God? Are you listening to me? The presence of God is the key to multiplied grace. He said grace and peace be multiplied unto you. How? Through the knowledge. So as I press towards God, as you come here, one of the consolations of seeking God is that you walk in increased grace have you seen somebody come out of the presence of god and you just look at the person and you like to share your food with the person you even like the person you are driving everybody from your room but the person comes and says i'm looking for a room before the person finishes, say please i want you to come and stay here hallelujah you are struggling looking for room someone will click room of two and come and present it to somebody as a gift in your presence the grace of god grace and peace say it after me grace and peace is multiplied as i seek to know more of god this is the part that is not taught believers so we just sit down and say grace grace you can have a measure of grace but you can let me show you show you a scripture we'll soon round up quickly second peter chapter one verse two second peter sorry Aaron, i'm i'll still use you don't run <laughs> hallelujah second peter chapter one if you are there say amen verse two grace and peace be multiplied unto you amplified through the knowledge through the knowledge so the more of god that you know he will leave you with this residue of grace as a testimony that you truly seek him hallelujah so you can grow in grace you can get to a point where you become a fearful wonder this is one of the greatest secrets of koinonia listen we concentrate on seeking god you know why the bible says seek first the kingdom and all other things because as you seek the kingdom that symbol of his grace will compel things to follow you as busy as we are we never try to let things occupy the place of his presence because that's the place of grace grace appears as unction grace appears as insight grace appears as the compelling power of the spirit 
Grace appears as prosperity. Grace appears as the blessings of God. Grace and peace. I'm teaching you a big secret through the knowledge. Suddenly you see that you are coming out of the presence of God and men seek to bless you. Men seek to bless you. Can I tell you something with all humility? There is no 24 hour that passes that somebody does not bless me. I say it truly. Every day of my life, every day of my life, every day of my life, including today, grace and peace is multiplied through the knowledge, through the knowledge, through the knowledge. Grace makes life easy for you because you step into the blessings of the Lord. You step into the peace of the Lord. The word grace and peace, that peace there is shalom, prosperity, grace. The favor of God be multiplied unto you. Brothers and sisters, can I tell you something? When you begin to walk in this grace, you will be afraid of yourself. Because the results you will begin to command will make you afraid. It's not because of your age. It's not because of your status. Are you listening to me? If they ask you why and you can explain it, it's not yet grace. If it is grace, you will lack an explanation. You will lack an explanation. I truly know that God anointed me by grace. The dimensions of the spirit that he brings, sometimes I'm as amazed as the people looking. The miracles that come, as I'm, I'm as amazed as the people. Hallelujah. My job is to seek his presence. To seek him. And suddenly I turn back and I see that there is a new level of grace. It didn't say grace be added. It said grace be multiplied. Two times four is, two times two is what? Two times three is what? Two times four is what? Multiplication. Suddenly you look at a man and you see the grace of God upon in a way that you cannot explain. The grace of God appears as increased wisdom. The grace of God appears as increased insight. You're just sitting down. The scriptures open up unto you. You cannot explain. You cannot even explain how the scripture God opened. Suddenly you begin to walk in unusual insights. You begin to walk in levels of the anointing that you cannot explain suddenly you step into i know many prosperous people who don't know many business rules they don't even know how they got into their blessing that's why they can't teach it they tell you go to someone else to teach you honestly there are things today i cannot teach you i'll be a bad teacher if i teach you because i got it entirely by grace other people can make noise about it but for me oh, my own came absolutely by grace that's why when people are talking i just keep quiet because i know my own is grace hallelujah I was sitting when someone came from Mina with a letter. They are organizing a minister's conference. Most of the prominent ministers in this country will be meeting in, in, in Mina. Hallelujah. And he just brought a letter that our church argued for one week that you are going to be the speaker. I said, how do you explain this? You want to teach people who, are, who gave birth to ministries that trained me and built me? How do, what do you say? It's called grace. It's not ministry experience. This one is grace. When you have the opportunity to teach your fathers, it's called what? Grace. 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 Please, I want you to believe this. Grace. Hallelujah. I got a call some days ago and the person called me and he said, are you Joshua Selman? I said, yes. He said, Koinonia? He said, yes. He said, I listened to one of your message. He said, the Lord led me to give you two plots of land. I said, who are you? He said, it's not important. Brothers and sisters, how do you explain this? Don't say it's because you're a man of God. No, no. This is what I want you to see. It's not because of that. Grace. Say after me, Grace grace where God opens doors for you that you cannot explain 
I was sitting quietly in my house. Someone came with a generator that is also an inverter. A very mighty, gigantic generator and said it's a seed. How do you explain this? Please, I hope I don't sound arrogant. I'm sorry if I do. I just want you to hear these testimonies to provoke you. That there is a dimension of grace that you can step into. The hand of the Lord. The wisdom of God. On common levels of insight where God will lead you to things, lead you to places. God will make people to serve you that you cannot explain. Are you listening to me? Every time, every time you seek him, grace and peace is multiplied. But let me tell you, when this dimension comes into your life, does that mean I don't study my Bible? Does that mean I don't stay in the presence of God? Does that mean I will not be diligent with the understanding of God's principles? No. You see why we taught that before teaching the message of grace? Because a lot of people just say, ah, it's a license for laziness. So you don't read your book in class say, no problem, grace will speak for me. No, sit down and read. Do well. Are you listening to me? But I want you to know that the beauty of Christianity is that there is grace. Hmm. The grace of God. The wisdom of God. You're sitting down and certain blessings just step in to come and meet you. Listen, I want you to believe what I'm sharing with you. You need it in this wicked Nigeria that we live in. You need the grace of God. Paul said, I am what I am. Everybody say it. I am what I am. By the grace of God. So the more we see God, many of you don't know what happens to you when you stand in this atmosphere of worship. As you are standing, you may not feel anything, but grace is being multiplied. Grace. The time you would have spent doing something else while you are worshiping God, grace is multiplied unto you. Grace is multiplied. Never take the presence of God as a waste of time. One day of favor will give you what a lifetime of labor will not give you for 430 years they were in captivity in one day they spoiled the egyptians they left with gold they left with everything one day are you listening to me one day of god's uncommon grace unusual grace where the hand of god comes upon your life You must believe in this grace dimension. You must believe that there is a walking. This is what, see, God planned that your life will be easy. That's why he added grace. Without grace, boy, life is difficult. There are people that struggle in ministry, struggle in every area of life. Realize that as a believer, you can tap into the grace of God. Many of our parents do not know this. When they sack them, they say, hey, hey, life has finished. Hold on. There is a fountain of grace. There is a fountain of grace. Have you seen that there are many people, this is why many times when God wants you to step into certain blessings, he causes you to begin to worship and praise him. He says, forget about the problem. You are multiplying grace every time you are doing that. Suddenly, the dimension of grace you have cannot give you the result. So God says, leave that trouble, come worship me now you are dancing you are sweating you are dancing you are sweating you don't even know what is happening the moment grace multiplied grace multiplied grace is multiplied suddenly you step out and your miracle is waiting right in front of you you cannot explain it the grace of god Do you believe what I'm teaching you? We're going to pray. I know we're out of time. But I need you to step into this dimension. Where your life becomes a fearful epistle of testimonies that not even you can attest to. That when people hear, they say it's a lie. It's not true. It's a lie. It's not true. I told God, I said, Lord, one of the things you will do in my life is to make my life an epistle of wonder. There are some people who are the signs and wonders. They don't do it. I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs.
and wonders. Where God will produce amazing things in your life. Brothers and sisters, watch out. You will see the operation of grace in the lives of people in this place that will make you fear. Are you listening to me? By the grace of God, we don't stage manage testimonies here. You will hear testimonies that will cause you, testimonies that will make you fear. The grace of God. You apply for a scholarship late, you are the only one who will get it. They say, what did you do? You enter the, 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 the interview hall. You were not even concentrating. You are sure of only 16 questions you answered correctly, but you are the only person they call. How can you explain this grace? I give you a name to the mystery you have been seeing in your life that you cannot understand. It's called the grace of God. So every time you come for koinonia, one of the things that God does in your life is what? He multiplies grace. This is one big secret in my life. You never get me too busy to be out of the presence of God. It has become my life. I will die. Grace. The grace of God can end one captivity, captivity for years in your family in one day. Don't you undermine the power of grace. Are you listening to me? Somebody can come from nowhere and say he wants to marry your sister. No prayer, no laying on of hands, no sowing of seed. He just says... He, captivity someone will come and get a car key and give your father or just come and take a house build a house and say sir the lord told me this that i should sow it to you if you do not believe in this dimension of christianity you'll be in for a root shock we are going to pray rise up on your feet the angel of the lord is standing in this room i pray right now Every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this room, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 now. 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 escape tonight outside at the top of your voice after the count of three many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you my god let no spirit let no spirit remain right now one two three Let's 
All those that have come out, those in front here, as a point of contact to those who are there, by the blood I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, 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 now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. Bring the lady. Bring her here. that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. 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 You know my voice. She out. She now. Leave her. She out. She never return again. She she now all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 go. Out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. 
Marital delay. Give me your hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now, at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! 
never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. Is a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. You just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name of that is above every other name. Every delay in this place at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter. Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tie. Tie. This is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hand. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? 
is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of the... Eh? Is, you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, you used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at. You came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yes. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. Be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to from me, church to go and receive miracle. I went to the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money. I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess. Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. Was just say different things about me, and I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I want her to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yeah. Where? Into Oak University. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. No. Hold my hand. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar bigger than any senate you will come back and stand right here and testify you have it in the name of jesus christ now no power will stop you i use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen Prophecy, kaya jaja, reketera, mambre tete kete balakata, rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names, receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Where, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That hand, that hand, Mene, 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 Ufese, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Oh, 
Kigo Paradia Sacranda Valititi Supalutica Likoto Pradia Sagandaria Tagadabaya Parada Shia Makundi Sizama Paradia Zigo Shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me now. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. <laughs> Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You're a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go, now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou enthroned on high, enthroned on high, oh, Help me worship us. Be thou enthroned. Marriage. We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. In the name that is above all names, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please get said, something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now, as you shout Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. Every marital delay. Go, 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 
Go, go, go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call forth your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just minister to me. Please check. Check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has killed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one? Come. Come. You've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yes. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt a pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. drugs even if it's even in my bag right now. The drugs is go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two weeks now. For the I've past been two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs because. I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that it should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, me. breathe in now. Yes. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, septic ulcer since 2006. Since 2006? Yes. And you said you Peptic said ulcer. ulcer. You are sure? Confirmed. Yes. Okay. But as we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt... You felt something? Yes. That so wicked I thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt... Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. 
Sena makosa prendi jalama kuria kanda. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus. Long sightedness. Short sightedness. Glaucoma. Every eye condition. Be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at, eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We we'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's completely yes who brought him here we came together with mama okay i'm going to pray for him as i pray for him keep testing him when he can see you just try him out the lord will heal him lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on his hand lay your hands by yourself on your eyes i command new eyes by the power of the christ how long has this been does she speak English? <laughs> One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So yeah. we went to the hospital, and the doctor told me that he could not cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa, the local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him. If he's seen anything, can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is the, eh? You saw light. What can, are you seeing? Oh my God, look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. When he went you saw up. light? Yeah, when he just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then he went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eyes. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay. You all. Know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her, so that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp and light. I, I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. 
tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are all those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Who brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come here alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? I Please just, make sure we verify this. I was food. praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down, an hand come here. Now, I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Who brought this small boy? I brought my son. You brought eh? I brought my you son. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes. What was wrong with you? My eyes were itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had this itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's gone. Up. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and you today, go blank? Epileptic yeah. or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words. Yes, skip the word. I'll go blank, and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my, ha my, hands on my eye, and then a light just, just hit me, and my hands touched me. Light shaking, again, you see the and light? And my eyes got very hot, and then Your I eyes got open, hot, yes. and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. Came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are penned, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yes. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel 
heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's sterigium. That is mostly sterigium. That is, I'm not supposed to cover it. Like some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went five what bottles. Right now? So but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was released from my eyes. You completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Yeah. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eye used to Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when he was playing, I put my hand. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing has gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to see the, they said that I needed glasses. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes uh, my eyes would be itching me. Out, okay. Like, Starting me sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can do that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourselves. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting My with this sickness. I pray for you. Just begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Let's pace them very quickly. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, please, I want you to believe. I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands. And as I pray for you, you'll be healed. You'll be delivered. No matter what it is, please, don't go back the same. You don't have to go back the same. You do not have to go back the same. No matter what the issue is, I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now. Thank you, Jesus. Please go. Lord, I give you praise. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ.
righteous. He's righteous. He's righteous. He's righteous. what? What's the, wait, hold on. What's the issue? <laughs> yes, it's my bike. <laughs> and the leg broke. Wait, you don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look I at me, I since when? I think a week ago now. You can't walk? The, the nurse bandaged my leg. Then what happened? I started, I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. 
This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you are seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
injection. It spoils the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. No, except if it's except if an aid. Try to make it. Just wait. Which one? Which of them? Try to make it. Eh? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Short feet. Very short feet. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hand. Just try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Stand up. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take up everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Just pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Please 
Pass the request quickly. Just leave her. Lord, she's totally free. attending to those outside those outside please let's have their request I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that if we can't we can just reach out to them by faith please make sure that you have a prayer request God answers prayers here yeah? everybody rise if you can please this is a very prophetic moment please we'll start praying the rest can come and join us the others pastor Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places, and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues 
while the worship team leads us in worship, just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Saraprake Shalima Zatala Broki Jilibana Zataya, Rika Lujari Krasatata Pata Shitaba, a God of all flesh, Zarapakata Shilia. Lazarika Patasha with the glare, Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Raka Patashi Talaba, Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus, miracles, miracles, open doors. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless Sabina them forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone stand. Everywhere, please stand. About to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now!
And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father. Because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet, they were preserved says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible I'm not singing just concentrate my God would you step in And do the impossible, do the impossible, change the unchangeable, change the unchangeable, my God, stay. Do the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, the name that causes demons to tremble, the name that causes breakthrough and deliverance I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny help us. Restoration 
of the years that the canker worm has eaten. Now, hallelujah. Every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names. Be cancelled now. 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 book of Job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now, because now, because now. For he has broken the gates of brass. And he has cut the irons in sunder. My God, I pray. Every door that has been closed over your people. In the name that is above all names. If God be in this place. I command those two leaf gates. Be open now. Be open now. I prophesy, be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele kabande kretisakai. Ashetete balakata bregede balada bagada bagada. Is there any man in the house of Saul? that I may show him kindness. And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs, I prophesy, receive it now. Receive it now. From the north to the south, to the east, to the west, I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men. Every limitation, every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come. I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus. Limitations be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. I command break records. Break records, set new records, do what has not been done. I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted. The Bible says, withhold not good from who, him who is due when it is within your power to do so. It is within their power to bring the promotion. Therefore, I pray in the name that is above all names, 
we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea I speak of excellent things Daniel was made ten times better he said I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone called doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone I command the angel of the Lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of Jesus Christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted I speak to every job here receive increase I speak to every business here grow I command you to grow I speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of Jesus Christ let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers I prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus May that favor hit you where you are. May that favor change you. May it cause men to bless you. Hallelujah. And I pray, may the presence of God go with you. Everywhere you go, everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of God, pornography, masturbation, whatever it is, it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you 
like a tornado in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray, grace to study, grace to understand. Hallelujah. Every hidden gift, every hidden talent, every ability that can bless you, that has refused to arise, I pray. The Bible says the gift of a man makes room. I pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried, I prophesy, let it come alive and bless you now. Let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cry for lifting, thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. My head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friends stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. To you. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision. Mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you've lived your life, I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And that
that fountain flows to bless you. It flows to wash you. It flows to cleanse you. Lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. Please, you are not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me with your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh god let this not be a, an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of jesus christ congratulations i want you to look at me I congratulate you for this great decision everyone here made this decision at one point now i'd like you to just follow our ushers there's a wonderful sister waving her hand i want you to just follow them they'll have they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow god bless you please follow them follow them very quickly please. all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. coming don't stop we have a prayer for you and we have a blessing and all those who took the pain to invite anybody here may God invite all the blessings you need in your life I'm very serious I'm not just saying it if anyone came here as a result of your invitation I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus name Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you'll follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye.
Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.